bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. A nice easy pace of warm up over. Better buckle those chin straps. SEC action about to start. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. setting for it here on the campus of the University of Alabama. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Taken down around the 38-yard line. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. First and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. Wiggins gets the call. He's pushed out of bounds around the 41-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. Throw to the tight end and in and out of his hands. Johnson was the intended receiver on the play. So that'll make it fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Griffin is waiting for the snap. Hendricks fields it at the 22, and he's taken down at the 29. Alabama's coaching staff, the fans, I think everybody's been waiting to see this kid play, and here he is. Well, he's a star quarterback. He seems to bring everything to the table. The crowd, I think, senses he's ready to have a big day. And when your star quarterback feels good at playing at home and he gets off to a good start, some big things can happen for this offense. He guns it. It's broken up. Alabama's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. From their own 29-yard line, second down. Nice run up the middle. That's good for me, seven yards. That'll bring up third and four. Tight end right. Tight end right. Four down, four down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. And they pick up the first down with a pass to the tight end. It's easy to forget about the tight end sometimes coming off the line. But you always have to watch this guy because he's certainly capable of making big plays. From their own 46-yard line, first down. He 
he's tackled right around the 46 yard line. That makes it second and two. Double tight, guys, double tight. Four down, four down. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. Throws falling back, incomplete. Jackson's intended to see on the play. And here's another third down. Seven yard line. So the ground game picks up another first down. Boy, this really works on a defensive psyche. You can see the guys on defense right now are just trying to catch their win. Once again, they had a chance to bring this drive to a halt, but were unable to do it. The offense really seems to be clicking right now. And down he goes at about the 29 yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. strike to the receiver. They'll bring him down around the 20-yard line. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. It's the ninth play of the drive. Inside the 10. He gets out to about the 8. down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That brings him second and goal. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. They're crowding the line. Let it go, and it's caught for the touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. An 11-play, 69-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Alabama lines up for the kickoff. From his own goal line, he's to the 20, and he's tackled at the 23-yard line. Alabama's loving this crowd support, and they get it week in and week out. Well, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue that. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change the game plan. He makes his way out to about the 35. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. He's taken down around the 33-yard line. You know, a lot of times, coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. Third and eight. Ball on the 37. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. Throws it deep. Missed him. After a quarter of play, we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. 7-0, Crimson Tide.
And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Griffin awaits the snap. Tackle at the 42-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Alabama is up a score. Takes it right side for a good game. They're about four yards away here on second down. And he hits him hard at the 44 yard line. tight end these guys especially in the secondary really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball from the 44 yard line second down throws to the tight end and that ball's incomplete it all going long what a play and that'll set up a first and goal it's first down and they'll be looking for six points here Down Crimson Tide. Strong run by the halfback to get into the end zone. He's a pretty sure bet to get six when you're this close to the end zone. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a six-play, 58-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Wilson, fields at the goal line. Gets to about the 24-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Screen pass. He's got his half back. And he's tackled at the 39. If you're the defense coordinator, you got to be frustrated with the way your defense gave up that first down. The defense has got to do a better job of recognizing the screen and then chasing it down from behind, especially the defensive linemen. They've got to see whether it's the quarterback or the offensive lineman that tip the screen and then help the rest of the defense be able to slow that play down and not give up that first down. First and 10, ball on the 39. Tackle made around the 49-yard line. Makes it out to about the 40. From the 40-yard line, it's first down. Tackle at the 39-yard line. That's good for a game of one yard. That brings us second and nine. Check tight right, tight right, tight right. Pull it out there, check the outs, not there. Three down, three down. Oh. 
Quick pass. And they make the stop around the 37 yard line. That makes it 37. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Pollard gets about four yards on the draw play. really came up with a nice drive there last time out and most of those yards came through the air this defense needs to improve from front to back the line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage the defense always likes to see a pass broken up but getting the turnover would have been really big second down 10 to go ball on their own 33 Gains his way to the 49-yard line. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 49. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Caught open field. In the 20. To the 10. Spectacular play. And now it's first and goal. Well, they found some seams in the coverage there. Let's see if the defense makes any adjustments to counter. Down time. And he converts the extra point. So a five-play, 67-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Alabama is ready to kick it away. He's to the 20. At the 30. He's taken down at the 46. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Throws and it's incomplete. Under pressure. Pass out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. Pass 
Hendricks is back deep to return. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Alabama's offense is just clicking on all cylinders for right now. It's everything they plan for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Right, picks up a yard on the play. Alabama will have one timeout remaining from their own 30-yard line. Second down. Well, I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. Got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. They work the right side, and there's nothing going there. Well, the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker, and he got through almost untouched. Battle is waiting for the snap. Gets to about the 41-yard line. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. He chucks it downfield. At the 30, it's caught, and he is drilled at the 29-yard line. No surprises here as we come to the end of the first half. 21 to nothing, Crimson Tide. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in, in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, they can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know. Do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, bro. I'm going to get some in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. Wait, 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 don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half. All right, Reese and Davis, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Fielded at the nine, and he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. So we're just about ready to return to action. about the 41 yard line when you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that you've got something working from their own 41 yard line first down room around the corner big opening He's at midfield. Gets out to around the 45. They'll bring him down around the 36-yard line. That brings up second and one. 
It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Go! He gets hit out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. There was a three-yard completion, and we'll have a first and ten coming up. I'll tell you, these guys just keep rolling down the field. Quarterbacks looking very sharp on this track. Tackled after a decent pickup. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Makes it out to about the 19. teed up and he's ready to kick this one off fielded at the four and he's tackled at the 20 yard line alabama's coaching staff will go out tonight and i think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal well the defense has been great there's no doubt about it but i just think that the offense that they're facing they has just been so conservative so predictable it's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game they spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers down he goes at the 30. Barnett with the tackle at the 30 yard line. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. 36, 33. He makes the catch and has a first down. That's good for a game of three yards. First down. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. And a quick throw. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 38 yard line. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings them second and five. From their own 38 yard line. Second down. Strike to his receiver. No good. They'll get two on that one. Wasn't a huge gain here, but at least you know as a quarterback that when you throw to this senior, you're putting the ball into some sure hands. Griffin is the putter. Tackle made to the 32-yard line. When he made the decision to return the ball, I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run. But boy, did it vanish in a hurry. Still, he got something out of it. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defense alone. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. 
Alabama comes to the line holding that commanding lead. Runs it and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. four-yard line. First down. He's tackled around the 43-yard line. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. four-yard line. It's first down. One quarter to go, and we may be looking at some mop-up duty. 28 to nothing, Alabama. This one has been a blowout since the beginning. Hopefully the fourth quarter will turn things around. Brought down around the 42-yard line. That makes it second and eight. From the 42-yard line, it's second down. Alabama looking to add to this big lead here. He's taken down around the 31-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. He might have a chance. Gets out to around the nine. First down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He's in another touchdown. Boy, did he look determined running the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. Tacks on the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Keeping an eye on what's going on in Huntington. This game was so tight, every play seemed to be of the utmost importance. And for Pittman, his pass has found the end zone three times. Marshall gets the W, 28-24. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. Williams, ready to kick. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Alabama's defense has been a force to be reckoned with, especially in this game. Well, they have stepped up today. They just seem to be dialed into what this offense is trying to do. Good job against the run. They've been very physical. What I love is how relentless they run to the football. The deficit is huge, but as a player, you never want to slow down your effort. Believe me, coaches notice the ones who aren't trying that hard. They go with the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. their own 22-yard line. Second down. And they get the sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense.
Here's the halfback on the screen. And they make the stop at the 14. Drop back a yard. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Just under three to go in regulation. Hendricks fields it at the 46. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Alabama's proven to be the better team in every facet of this football game. Boy, their defense has played lights out. Their offense is taking advantage of their opportunities. Everything has led them to a very comfortable lead. Here comes the offense as they look to find the end zone yet again. I expect him to run the ball, kill the clock, and put this one in the books. Tackle right around the 36-yard line. Second and nine. Ball on the 36. They have to watch the play clock here. He gets to about the 27-yard line. quarter but this game quite frankly has been over for a long time and I'm ready for it to end that brings up fourth and three fourth down and the offense is still on the field Well, late in the fourth quarter, this game has been over for a long time, and now we just want to get out of here like these two teams do. Under a minute left in the game. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That makes it second and six. From their own 33-yard line, second down. Fires that quickly, incomplete. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. He's out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. That'll make it fourth and two. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injury. He fights forward to about the 33. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, Alabama 35, Vanderbilt nothing. And the Commodores, nothing. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.